Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Arts. All right, you just heard the closet door open, and I have put WD-40 on it, but it never seems to help. Okay, so freedom's in the distance, and what I've done, I've blocked the bed, so this way he doesn't run under it, and yeah, you guys, probably the first year I had him, I never would block the bed. Silly. And he would run back under. He's even flown under. Not kidding. And look at this fun bag. Th this one, by the way, is Feather Friends Forever I adopted Freedom from. That is a double yellow-headed Amazon. What a gorgeous bird. And then I got this at an online auction with the Oasis Sanctuary out in Arizona. Um, that sanctuary, the birds are there forever. Look, relax, live longer. Woo! You have to love it. And, um... And in Feather Friends Forever, they've got a mixture. Some birds are there because they help out the military people that are overseas. They'll keep the bird over there for you. Um, they have some people that uh, contribute every month. They just can't keep the bird for whatever reason, health reasons. The bird might be a screamer or plucking, etc. And then they do have adoptable birds, so go ahead and call them. Um, call ahead always, and then you could visit on a Saturday or Sunday and... They like you to volunteer a little bit and also let the bird uh, choose you. Okay, so Freedom's getting ready. Hey, Freedom, you okay? You ready to fly? Okay, Freedom's going to fly across the room. Okay, here we go. He's preparing himself. Now, he's probably going to touch ground and fly back because... Okay, look, where did... here's me. Woo. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to show you this. This little white perch. He doesn't like it. And our goal is to get Freedom into this bird pack. He has been walking in a different cage that has a more open, you know, that people can pet him and stuff, but because of the coronavirus and all, um, I think it's best that he's in a closed... It, it's got a screen on the front so people can't pet him. They can see him, not as well. And um, sometimes Freedom doesn't want to go in right away on first flight. Okay, Freedom, here we go. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. All right, I don't want to miss the flight. Here we go. Okay, Freedom. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm aiming this way. All right, I'm having troubles. Freedom, i got to switch hands. Ha! Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Okay, I'm right-handed. All right, here we go. Okay, Freedom, here we go. I don't want to miss him flying. Okay, here we go. Come on, Freedom. You can do it. You can do it. Here we go. Okay, so he's flying to the ground and flying back, as I predicted. Oh, Freedom. Hey, little pea bird. Freedom, look at this. Freedom lost a bird feather just now. Now, this is... um. This is a, a flight feather. You can see it has a little bit of navy on it. So green and black. And I read somewhere, birds like wood storks, that you can't see the black on their wings unless they're flying. And same with uh, white ibis. That's a bird with a D-curve beak. And the, and the wood storks have, um, they don't have any feathers on their head when they're adults. Pretty interesting. At first you see them, you don't think they're too attractive. But then when you really get up close, it, they're more like a dinosaur. It's just amazing. But um, anyway, I read that black on the feathers can make them stronger. So isn't that fascinating? So a bird could have white feathers, but then where, where they do have the black feather, um, you know, and I don't know if it has anything to do with, I'll have to read up more on it. Uh, but for some reason, it's got more strength. Okay, pretty interesting. All right, Freedom. Um... All right, guys, well, I guess I won't film Freedom trying to get into his travel cage because it could be could be more stressful for him, right? Okay, Freedom, you're doing a great job, though. Good boy, and I'm letting him rest, all right, while he looks outdoors to our yard. Here we go. Okay, Freedom. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain. All right, we're signing off. It's Cameron. Have a great day.